The beta has been over for approximately a week now, and the waiting game is taking its toll. Hey there broskies, it's Lupus, and today I am going to be telling you guys about how much I am missing the beta, and I know that this is probably the same feeling that a lot of you guys are having, because I went back to Battlefield 3, and I was very disappointed. I actually posted a tweet on Twitter, and I was just like, after playing a superior game, it's just not the same going back to Battlefield 3. In the background, you will notice that I have some Battlefield 3 gameplay, but this may be some of the last gameplay that I have, unless I end up coming back to the game in the future sometime, just because I want to have some nostalgia and just play the old game or something. But the reason why I just don't want to play Battlefield 3 anymore is because I feel like Battlefield 4 had everything that Battlefield 3 had and much more. So there's really nothing that I should, sh there's no reason that I should even play Battlefield 3 to be honest. Uh, I do plan on playing some more BFBC2. I was actually playing that for the couple weeks before the beta because I was just tired of Battlefield 3. And now I'm probably going to go back to that between now and the time Battlefield 3 comes out in a week and two days. So... It's going to be a pretty uh it's going to be pretty different. I'm going to try and upload some BFPC2 gameplay and think of some interesting topics and such. But this may be my last Battlefield 3 gameplay. And you'll notice I'm using the Scar L. I wanted to try and feel like I was playing the beta as much as possible, even though this isn't the Scar H. It is the only Scar that was in the assault medic class of Battlefield 3, so I felt like this would be a good weapon to use. But I want to kind of go over some of the things that I'm missing from the beta and some of the things that I just that just make me realize that I don't really want to play Battlefield 3 anymore. So, first off, I have a quirk for hit markers, and I don't know if a lot of you guys do, but when the hit marker is a little bit more visible, you're e it's easily it's easy to see. It has a defined it's def definitive of where it is. I really enjoy that. Uh, Battlefield 3, for the time being, whenever I played the game, had a very nice hit marker in my opinion. But then I started playing BFBC 2. It had a bigger, thicker hit marker than Battlefield 3. And then the Battlefield 4 beta came out, and it had the same bigger, thicker hit marker that is in BFBC 2. So then I go back to Battlefield 3, and I notice how small it is. It's actually sort of transparent, and it was really awkward. Just uh, it made it seem like my bullets weren't doing that much damage. Because to me, the more definitive a hit marker is, it feels like I'm dealing more damage. The impact is larger, and that's just the kind of sensation that it brings to me. And I don't really like that. I think that was one of the problems that I had with Medal of Honor Warfighter because they have got to have one of the smallest hit markers ever, and they're a really weird shape. They're more like triangles than straight lines, which I don't understand. And it felt like I wasn't being able to kill people because my gun wasn't doing very much damage just because the hit markers were very small. And that's kind of how I'm feeling about Battlefield 3 again. Uh, I also miss some of the destruction from Battlefield 4. Even though there wasn't very much destruction in the beta, what has been said now is that the destruction was removed from the beta so that they could keep the frames as high as possible and make the game run smoothly since it was the beta and it wasn't fully optimized as uh, as it's going to be when the full game comes out. So when the full game comes out, we're going to see that destruction. You're probably going to be able to shoot a grenade launcher, grenade launcher RPG or anything at some of the buildings, and then the rubble will fall on people like it, like we're used to from Battlefield 3. And we'll probably end up seeing that kind of destruction come in as well. We could possibly see some more um, smaller buildings being, you know, flattened completely, stuff like that. But there's definitely going to be more destruction than what we saw in the Battlefield 4 beta. And the reason... Or the only destruction we really even saw in the beta was the Levolution side of things where the building fell and you were able to uh, blow off those things, make the, uh, the, the balconies fall down so that you had a different way of getting to certain areas. And I think that's what they mainly wanted to show off, but we will have our full destruction in Battlefield 4, including the type of destruction that we had in Battlefield 3, which was... Uh, it was pretty minimum. There wasn't very much. You couldn't level many buildings at all. But then we're going to also have that Battlefield Bad Company 2 style destruction where the buildings will level. And that's what I also wanted to talk about is why we'll be playing BFBC 2 from now until the game's release. Because BFBC 2 feels more like Battlefield ba uh, Battlefield 4's beta. I don't know how to explain it exactly. Well, I kind of do, but it it's just... It feels like Battlefield 4 should have been what came after Bad Company 2 rather than Battlefield 3. Battlefield 3 almost feels like a beta for Battlefield 4. And I know a lot of people were saying it's just basically what Battlefield 3 should have been. While I do think that's true, I don't think that that means that Battlefield 4 is any less of a game. I think that Battlefield 4 is a great game for what it is. And I just feel like Battlefield 3 should have been better. And then they could have, you know, taken a bigger step towards Battlefield 4. But Battlefield 4 is definitely going to be something amazing. And... Bad Company 2, you know, the 
the graphics were really good in that game. I know that Bad Battlefield 4 is made off the Frostbite 3 engine, which is more closely related to the Frostbite 2 engine than the Frostbite 1.5. But it just for some reason, I think it's the lack of the bluish tint. If any of you guys remember what I'm talking about on Battlefield 3, there was a slight bluish tint that DICE decided to add. For unknown reasons, it just made the color saturation really poor and it just didn't look the greatest. And Bad Company 2 didn't have that bluish tint and Battlefield 4 is no longer going to have that bluish tint. So... They look more closely related in colors, and that's one reason why I like the way Bad Company 2 looks after playing the last two weeks of Bad Battlefield 4's beta. And overall, the gunplay is a little bit better, in my opinion, on Bad Company 2. The balance is fairly well. There are some weapons that are, you know, ridiculous, but then there are some weapons in Battlefield 3 that are ridiculous, such as the M16. But... I did try and play Battlefield 3. I did I did attempt to. It's not like I'm just going to put it down and not play it between now and the release of Battlefield 4 because I don't because I didn't try. I did try and play it and there were just so many issues that I couldn't get over and I'm just looking forward to Battlefield 4 so much that playing Battlefield 3 being a very similar game but having so much stuff lacking it's really hard to play and um that's really all for this video guys i just want to let you guys know that i will be playing bad company 2 more that's what you guys can expect to see in some of my videos but i hope you guys did enjoy this last gameplay that i have of battlefield 3 and if you guys are feeling the same way about how you missed the beta and you think that battlefield 3 is a bit of a disappointment after playing a superior game then leave it in the comment section below but Anyways, guys, that's all for this video. hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I'd love to hear your opinions in the comment section down below. But as always, this has been Lupus, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.